Hello everybody, local high school boys golfers have gotten off to a nice start this season. Today area players had another chance to shine as they made their way to the Southern Hills course for the Hot Springs invite. And it was a nice day for golf down there at the scenic Southern Hills course. On hole number seven, Custer's Lane Popper from right off the green hits a chip shot that is just inches away from the pin. Popper picked up a bogey on the hole. Also on seven, Stevens Gavin Hunter with a similar shot on the other side of the green. His chip is going to hit the pin and bounces right over the hole. Hunter also picked up a bogey. 211. Popper in the middle of the fairway. The uh, nice approach shot here as this one goes just over the back of the green. He two putts from there and finishes the hole with a bogey. Continuing on number 11, Hot Springs Brooke Schroeder right off the back of the green sets himself ni up nicely as he knocked down the putt from there. He goes two over for the hole and Hunter right next to Schroeder on 12. He gets the uh, nice chip. He would tap in from there to finish up the hole with some bogey. So we saw some nice golf on display. Out at the Hot Springs invite today, let's take a look at the uh, leaderboard. Stevens takes first as a team with a tally of 336. Rapid City Christian finished second, followed by Hot Springs and Spearfish. The Raiders' Jace Denholm fired an 82 to earn medalist honors. And the tournament was a great opportunity for the players to get out on the course and work on their game. You know, with golf, just like with any sport, it's consistency. Who can who can do it day in, day out? You know, you, you don't expect the great scorers all the time, but you, you don't want the, the, the train wreck. So, you know, who can put together some good scores and hit, hit a couple good shots here and there and, and move to the next hole? Uh, always a work in progress. You know, the kids that we have here playing at Hot Springs are kind of competing for our fifth and sixth spot on our varsity. So, you know, at Stevens, we have a lot of kids out for golf. We're really lucky that way. We have, uh, you know, I believe between 40 and 45 boys out for golf right now. We're trying to instill that as coaches, trying to, you know, if they get into a predicament, how to get out of it. It comes with time, with an experience. The more you play, the more you learn, uh, the better you get. St. Thomas Moore girls tennis team was on the road for a duel against Aberdeen Central today. The Cavaliers came up just a little bit short. It was a tight match. The Golden Eagles win it 5-3. to three. STM returns to the court tomorrow to take on Sioux Falls, O'Gorman, and Brookings. Dun, 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 dun. To Monday Night Football, where Aaron Rodgers made his Jets debut against the Bills tonight. First quarter, Aaron Rodgers under pressure. He is sacked on the play, and on this play, Rodgers suffered a leg injury. He left the game and did not return. Second quarter, 3 0 Buffalo. Brees Hall, the Iowa State product, gets the handoff, and he's got some room to run. Look at him blow past the tackler here, and he races for a big gain of 83 yards. Not a touchdown, but that would Set up a field goal. Not often you can run 83 yards and it not be a touchdown. Bills go to work on offense. Wyoming product Josh Allen on the move. He connects with Stefan Diggs for the touchdown, but it's the Jets who would rally back to tie it late and they get the win in overtime. The Jets take it 22 to 16. So the Jets get the win tonight, but they may have suffered a loss. Aaron Rodgers could be a severe injury to the leg. We'll have to find out for sure tomorrow, but things not looking good for Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. And you have some more scores for us. Do have some more scores for you. Major League at Baseball tonight. It was the Twins coming up on the short end, falling to the Rays by the score of 7-4. to four. That could be a playoff preview in a few weeks. And the Cubs got a win over the Rockies tonight by the score of 5-4. to four. Well, I know you're very happy, Vic, with the Cowboys win last night. I'm very happy that the Jets won tonight. Jets did get a win, a big win over the division rival Bills. And of course, tomorrow it's a big night on the local sports scene. We'll have high school tennis, Central taking on Stevens tomorrow. Also some soccer and volleyball. So we'll have all the scores and highlights for you back here in 24 hours. All right, thanks, Vic.